What's up guys? Today is the day we find out what wheel size is faster. I think it's going to be a good day, it's going to be interesting. Hopefully we'll manage to get some full runs in. But first of all, we're going to do a warm up lap. Got the walkie talkies. Uh, this is how we're going to do the timing. So yeah, we're just going to make sure that they work. Hopefully they do. Yo, that's us at the top. Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Sick. Right, I'm just going to drop in and then, uh, yeah, I'm just going to turn it off. So I'll see you the bottom's in. Yeah, let's do it. Whew. Cruising first run. Rained overnight. So the track's a little bit more, got a little bit more grip in it. A little bit windy today. That's all right though. Oh my god! <laughs> the wood section is going to be slick today. Oh my! So on the mullet bike, this is for the first time run. Just on a side note, I want to try and do a full run, but there is a lot of people here riding and they have, of course, all the right to be on the track. So it could be hard to get a full run in, but we'll try. Radio down to Tudor, get this thing started. Yeah, I'm good to go, man. start there just to get up to some speed. Oh super loose. Oh. 
radar. Thanks. This is expected. So it's all good. in this bit. Dude, <laughs> freaking gnarly. Hands. I, w I was, it's probably, I've done a run down a, on a World Cup bike, or a downhill bike. Got to the bottom, more tired. Mm. Right, I'm ready to go, just count me down from five.
that was good. Holy moly, it's uh, getting way windy up there. Oh, mate, I didn't even do it. You feel it in the jumps? Yeah. The top's really windy, eh? Yeah. Felt really good, to be fair, in areas. Right, so I've done a run on the 29 to start with, then I did a run on the, the mullet, both a little bit sketchy in the sense that there was a lot of traffic, but I mean, I got past it, didn't really hold me up, maybe um, a couple seconds here and there, but yeah, that's just what we have to deal with, so that's all good. But yeah, ultimately, I felt more comfortable on the mullet, but I felt like I was faster on the 29. So, <clears throat> kind of unsure, but, um I'm gonna go back up and do another timed run but I it's sketchy going at speed on this bike or on a trail bike so I just gotta like play it by feel and if I feel like I can manage a full run comfortably then I'll do it but if I can't then I'm just gonna throw the towel in and be safe and make sure I'm in one piece to uh, to go racing obviously but interesting so far it's eating me up not knowing what the times are but uh yeah We'll find out at the end of the video. Show you. Putting the mallet on. The mallet. Oh, the mallet is very nice. A good French mechanic can make a mallet happen too. <laughs> oh. Go on, Kier. Uh, Following Danny down, but I have no chance of keeping up with him. away kind of expected though
half keeping up with him or even trying to I'm honestly I'm pretty done I was just so windy up there as well you weren't far off from him yeah like he's on a full downhill bike true yeah he was abs you see at the top dude yeah. probably not gonna be able to see anything because of the GoPro but you won the time <sighs> I'll just say this your time kept improving yeah run after run so you probably saw next to nothing on that run it was like raining pretty wet obviously followed Danny and the speed was not was was mad but yeah I mean he like was inching and inching and inching away but I managed to like stay with him for for a bit and then yeah obviously as the track went on he like just pulled away so this is what it is but he's on like a 200 mil downhill bike world cup downhill rider winner world champ whatever you want to I want to call call Danny but um pretty happy I'm interested now I get to find out my times yeah uh, I haven't known all day, so pretty interested. So let's go and find out. Tell me the times. First run. First run on the mullet. 4.59. Okay. Uh, like full 29 setup. 4.57. Okay. And like mullet run, like second run, yeah. following Danny. Yeah. 4.51. Wow. 4.51 on that <laughs> what <coughs> that's just amazing so um <laughs> yeah should you tell me the times i'm a little bit surprised um i followed danny down there and he obviously pulled my pants down but but yeah like f i don't know i said about f i was thinking like a 5.10 to 5.20 but 4.51 is like pretty mad so yeah the bike was hauling basically is all i'm saying all the other runs that I did were, I mean, they were, I was held up a tiny, tiny bit, but nothing crazy. But yeah, it was a successful day, I think. 130 mil bike, 150 front. Fast. It's just fast. It's just uh, yeah. fast. I That's think, all that can be said. I think it goes to show how capable the bike is and it's what you do with the suspension and the travel rather than like anything else really. But yeah, still blown away. Followed Danny there and he was like, I kept with him for a while and then he just, I think as it got on, I got more tired. Yeah, stoked. Uh, pretty eye opening. What do you think to that? Comment below. That speed on this bike. Great success, great weekend in the books. Back up to the top to pick up the walkie talkies. What a sick weekend. Comment below, let me know your thoughts. The times were pretty damn fast for a 130, 150 trail bike. I'm blown away. Let me know your opinions. Um, yeah, like I said, impressive for sure. Solid weekend with a good crew, I'm stoked. Give the video a like if you'd like to see more of this stuff and uh, if you're excited for the future for the channel. If you aren't subscribed already, please do, helps a lot. Until the next one, thanks for watching. Peace out, stay safe, healthy, all that good stuff and we'll see you in the next one.